Welcome back, realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one, I got a Dollar General in the background because I've been studying a bunch of Dollar General all, all weekend long, Dollar General properties. What, what it takes to make a property a Dollar General property, you know, looking at the traffic counts, looking at the population in the area, looking at the economics of the population in the area, what kind of money they make and what might that turn into what they can spend or what they'll spend at, the, at a Dollar General store, right? So this property, this particular property, it's in Jacksonville, Florida. And, uh, you know, I did a bunch of research on, on Dollar General. And, and then this particular property has got a Dollar General up the street. <laughs> so it kind of qualifies my my presumption. But um, the uh, it could be used for all kinds of things. Fast food store, uh, fast food restaurant, uh, auto parts store, lots of those kinds of uses too. But today, let's talk about Dollar General. So let's jump into the website, go into realvacantland.com. Asking three hundred twenty-five thousand for this one. It's got my name and phone number on here. If you want to call me and get more contact and everything, there's a link in the description of this video. It'll take you back to the website, and we can talk about. You can you know click on my number and call me. So three twenty-five. It's got the numbers uh, like the property number. This is Duval County, Florida. It's one point two five acres. The county numbers what you know makes the property is is there too. So you can look it up with the county. We're on Highway One. This is also called uh, New Kings Road. And this is, um, there's a freeway, the I, I looked it up, the I-295. So the 295 is right off of here. Here's views of the street. So there's four lanes going in each direction. Got the for sale sign out there, brand new for sale sign on the property. There's a bunch of bushes, cut bushes, build, build, a, build your casino there, right? You know, whatever kind of business it is you have that can draw draw um, sales in. So we've got all the utilities right there and um, it's this kind of shape. There's a square missing in the back, but you know, it's this kind of shape property, 178 feet on the on the road frontage. There's a Circle K next door, Circle K the gas station. They're doing business off of that. You can see the freeway in the background. Um, so there's the 295 in the background. And uh, so we're right at a major intersection of the one in the 295. So where the exits would come off the freeway and dump you out on the street, boom, that's where you can have your shop. You could sell hamburgers, you could sell breakfast, you could sell dinner, you can sell drugs, you know, like a drug store, you could sell um, all kinds of things. So we've got these pictures and diagrams on the website and uh, yeah, so that'll get you back there. There's, uh, there's the map. Um, we've got an interactive map. We'll take a look at that. We've got these on most all the properties in the area. So if we zoom out here on the other side of the freeway, we've got uh, some competition. This is a tractor supply store. We've got a brand new, there's a Wendy's over here. There's another gas station over here and a drive through gas station, or maybe I'm pretty sure gas station drive through I'm not exactly sure which one. Well, it says here, it's a BP and uh, I don't know, tacos or something. Um, and here's more gas stations and more, there's more fast food going on over here. And if we zoom out some more, there's auto parts and lots of things on this street. Let's jump off. Let's jump into some other databases I wanted to show you. Okay. So I pulled this up in Crexy. I like this website and the traffic in front of the property. So the property is right here. This is a 325 that we're asking. And this is Crexy sells commercial real estate and stuff. So 325 and then the traffic in front of the property, this is 2010 traffic. So I'm sure the traffic's gone up since then, but it was 17,900 when they counted the traffic in 2010. On the freeway here going by the 295, it's 52,000 cars a day going by there. That's a lot of traffic. So we got the intersection of this, you know, near 20,000 and over 50,000. And um, yeah, you put your sign up high and you start grabbing some of those people, whatever it is you got to sell. So here's uh, auto parts, there's a Dollar General, there's a Dollar General right up here. But I think you could get more creative and create something that sells more than a lot of the Dollar Generals sell for, um, that you could probably make more money. Like down here at the bottom of the screen, just off, well, is a Popeye's chicken. A lot of these Popeye's chickens, I mean, the, the cash flow you get off of these things, you're over two million bucks. You're selling a nice location of Popeye's chicken. How much does it cost you to build one of those? I don't think it's two million bucks. You buy the land and build it. You can leverage it out. You know, I think 
<laughs> you can get your money rocking and rolling. Probably a million bucks to build one of those things. You borrow most of that from the bank, pay 325 for the property, you go sell it for more than 2 million bucks. I think you're getting bigger spreads off of building these Popeye's chickens in today's markets than you are building houses. That's what I'm talking about, these kinds of properties. Now, like the Wendy's that's up here, uh, Wendy's is going for it, and uh, we could add all kinds of other fast food places in between. Um, that's that's the opportunity here. Which one of those is the one that you know, that you like, that you want to make, that you you could put here and go for it on this property? Um, okay, so here's a listing of the property. They got some some maps on. This is the one that we've got up for sale. Three hundred and yeah, 325, and it's got the, the realtors over there, You're kind of off the screen, but you can pull them up in all kinds of websites. You can see them, call them, they'll give you a tour, walk you through it and, uh, and everything. Um, I pulled up Dollar General. So I was just thinking Dollar General, and because I'm looking at other properties, Dollar General, doing Dollar General deals, selling properties to Dollar General. And um, so here's here's an example, right? So here's a Dollar General, 2.4 million. Um, here's a Hardee's, it's two and a half million. So some of these fast food restaurants with good locations will pull in. You can sell them for more than the Dollar Generals, but the Dollar General, 2.2, 2.5. These are nice Dollar Generals, 2.6. Here's a Georgia one. Okay, let's try one of these. Let's just, let's click on a couple of them. Um, they have a, so they, they built a Dollar General on this property and it says lot size acres one to two. I don't know what they mean by one to two acres. Ours is one and a quarter acres. It's kind of roughly the same size property. Um, the NOI on this pro forma NOI. So this is a new build. Like I don't think they've actually operated it. This is a, this is a cartoon rendition. I think this is the property with a you know, a computer stuck the building in there. Like they're building it right now and selling it to you, I think is what's going on here. They think this will do $124,000 a year in rent. So you rent it out to Dollar General. So if you build this thing and rent it to Dollar General. Price per square foot. They're selling this at $288 per square foot. In Georgia, houses, this one's in Georgia, right? I just said Georgia. I'm pretty sure this was Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Ockworth, Georgia, wherever that is. Um, in Georgia, the average building cost for houses is right around $100 a square foot. I don't know the average building cost for Dollar General, but uh, the high end of Dollar General and Dollar Generals, um, and what I've been reading about building the Dollar Generals, is it sounds like the $1.5 million is the high end fancy ones of building Dollar Generals. And that sounds like the expensive states like California, where houses cost four or $500 a square foot to build. And you go build commercial at some offset of that, right? Um, so they're selling this thing. I mean, it's they're asking. It hasn't sold yet, but they're asking 2.6 million, which is a lot more than the one and a half million dollars or less that it costs to build these kinds of buildings. I think these this could be a really good game plan to use this property. You could build a Dollar General and lease it out to Dollar General, and because you can't do franchises on Dollar General, but you could lease it to Dollar General, the company. And, uh, you know, build it just the way they like it. This is 9,000 square foot building, 9,100 square foot building. That's a pretty common dollar general size. Some of them are 10 or 12,000 square foot. Some of the junkier ones are 8,000 square foot. But from just watching trades go by. But I think you could build one of these things on this property for probably less than the million five and sell it for these guys are selling theirs for 2.6 million um you could probably sell it at the two million dollar numbers and you can use bank money to do most of it and uh make multiples on however much you have to put up to build the thing leveraged out with the banks you could multiply your money by buying this property building it out with bank mostly bank money and uh landing landing the deal um Okay, so there's a whole bunch of these Dollar Generals on here. If we look at ones that, uh, I mean, I could go all day. Dollar General, Dollar General. There's a whole bunch of them up for sale. There's a whole bunch of them that are sold and lots of those kinds of numbers. And uh, go do your own due diligence about all the all the super market ins and outs of it. But this was just an example of something you could build on this property. I mean, we could go in and type all kinds of different different buildings you could build on here and you can see what they're selling for and you can see how much they paid for their properties and if we start going backwards on a lot of these 
it's a lot higher prices than what I'm asking for on, on this one, the 325. So let's jump out of, of the, I think that was, what else did I want to show? Yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Okay, so we're back to the screen. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith, hopefully planting a bug in your ear, maybe planting a seed that says you could take some of these commercial properties and develop them for cheaper and sell them for more than a lot of the residential properties that we're usually talking about. I think that's the beauty of some of these commercial properties and the numbers are out there. You can see what the other guys are paying for them. You can see what they're buying their land for. You can see what they're, what they're selling their buildings for and you can see the spreads and you can take them down. And I would just wanna be there and feed properties to you all day long uh, that meet these different criteria. So hopefully you like this one. It's got like close to 20,000 cars a day out front and a freeway going by at 50,000 cars a day. I think if you do like a modern car count on there, it's gonna be a good deal over 20,000 cars a day. But you know, I got the data that I got and I'm not gonna sit there and count the cars. So <laughs> I'll leave it with you. Jacksonville, Florida, click the link in the description to go learn more about this property. See you in the next one, bye.